Four clamping methods for GF Central Plastics EF Tapping Tees, EF High Volume Tapping Tees, and numerous other EF sidewall fittings. In this video, we'll be demonstrating the use of the four separate clamping methods, including two forms of reusable metal saddle clamps and two forms of single-use plastic clamps. These clamps are specifically designed for use on George Fisher Central Plastics EF sidewall fittings with bases of 6-inch IPS and less and outlets 2-inch IPS and less. Option number one, the reusable metal camover clamps. This clamp is designed for repeated use. Each clamp is base size specific, but the same clamps work on GF Central Plastics EF tapping tees, the EF high volume wide body tapping tees, and two inch outlet branch saddles, as well as two to six inch VersaTap fittings, purge fittings, corp and transition saddles. For example, the 2-inch based clamps work on all the 2-inch EF service tapping tees, the 2-inch EF high volume tapping tees, the 2-inch by 2-inch EF branch saddles, the VersaTap and purge fitting, etc. Once the pipe and fittings are properly prepared, confirm that the cam lever is in the open position. Set the fitting on the pipe in the desired fusion location and slide the clamp under the fitting with the lever side of the fitting opposite the outlet so that the clamp captures both sides of the fitting's base, as shown here. Note, do not slide the fitting across the unprepped pipe, as this could expose the fitting to contamination. Once the clamp is centered on the fitting, activate the cam over lever, as shown. Note that the clamp's cam bolt is in line with the center of the back of the fitting. If it is not, release the clamp, recenter and retighten it. A poorly centered clamp may result in loss of fusion melt and compromise the fitting's integrity. You're now prepared to fuse the fitting. Once the prescribed cooling time has expired, the clamp can be removed. Note: The 6-inch camover saddle clamp operates similarly with one exception. On it, you'll notice that on the side of the clamp opposite of the cam lever is a removable bar with two sets of etched letters. TAP T and HVTT. You'll also find two thumb bolts. If using a 6 inch based EF service tapping T, the TAP T etching must be on the side closest to the fitting. If using a high volume tapping T, branch saddle, VersaTap, or corpse saddle, the TAP T etching must be turned away from the fitting. To make this adjustment, simply loosen the thumb bolts. Turn the bar in the direction appropriate for the fitting being fused and retighten the bolts. You're now ready to fuse the fitting. Option number two clamping using the new 3 inch, 4 inch, and 6 inch reusable metal clamps. These clamps represent the newest product improvement in George Fisher Central Plastics line of reusable metal underclamps. They are specifically designed for use on our 3-inch, 4-inch, and 6-inch EF tapping tees and EF high-volume tapping tees, EF branch saddles with outlets 2-inch and smaller, as well as 3-inch, 4-inch, and 6-inch EF VersaTap, Purge, Corp, and Transition saddles. You'll note that the adjustment bar and thumb bolts found on the original cam over clamp has been eliminated in this new design. Begin by ensuring that the pressure plate and knob handle are in the fully raised position. With the pipe properly prepared and both pipe and fitting clean, place the fitting on the pipe in the desired fusion location. If an outlet is present, make sure the outlet is opposite the knob and place the clamp under the pipe and over the ears of the fitting. Center the fitting with respect to the clamp. Tighten the knob until the pressure plate contacts the ribs and spacer as shown. Use of a wrench is permitted when using this clamp. Confirm that the fitting is tight to the pipe. You're now ready to fuse the fitting. Option number three, clamping using the original single-use underpart clamp. This clamping system is designed for one-time use. It will eventually be replaced by the TrueLock underpart. We'll demonstrate in option four, but it currently remains an active clamping option. The application sizes and fittings are identical to that of the cam over clamp described in option one. 
These fittings come with an appropriately sized base and partially pre-assembled. The bolt under the outlet should be connected and tight. If it is not tight, tighten it before proceeding. Now, with the pipe properly prepared, clean the base of the fitting and place it on the main over the prepared location. Bend the flexible base of the clamp around the PE pipe and snap the bolt into the slot on the back of the tapping tee as shown here. Tighten the bolt with an Allen wrench until the fitting is snug to the main. This usually occurs when the base of the fitting meets the stops on the underpart. The tightening process may deform the fitting base. This is normal and will not adversely affect the quality of the fusion so long as the head of the bolt is not tightened to the point of pulling it through the slot. You're now ready to fuse the fitting. Once the cooling time in the clamp has expired, this underpart may be left on or removed at the direction of your management. Option 4. The TrueLock Underpart This system represents the latest improvement to our sidewall clamping systems for 1.25 inch IPS to 6 inch IPS GF Central Plastics EF Service Tapping Tees, 2 inch IPS to 6 inch IPS EF High Volume Wide Body Tapping Tees, 2 inch IPS to 6 inch IPS base branch saddles with a 2 inch and smaller outlet and VersaTap fittings, purge saddles, corp and transition saddles for main sizes 2 inch IPS to 6 inch IPS. These underparts are designed for one-time use and come inside the bag with each fitting. The self-threading bolts are pre-started in the clamp base. The clamp is plastic and hinges under the outlet of the tapping tee and opposite the three-notch side for all fittings. Place the clean fitting on the prepared pipe in the desired location for fusion. Engage the hinge, being certain that the tabs on the under saddle are inserted in the hinge side holes in the fitting. Close the hinge and clip the two bolts into the slots on the back side of the clamp. Tighten the 5 16 inch 9 mm bolts with a thin wall socket wrench until the clamp base and fitting meet. You're now prepared to fuse the fitting. Once the cooling time is complete, the clamp can be removed or remain on the fitting. Congratulations! You're now familiar with each type of clamping system used on these fittings. For comprehensive instructions, please refer to the EF installation manual or for more information on George Fisher's Central Plastics EF fusion system and the assembly of components, visit our website at centralplastics.com. Additionally, hands-on training can be scheduled via the website or by contacting your local GF representative.